Hi, and welcome to you, the widgets tutorial video. This is a quick overview of how to add a widget to your site, how to remove it, how to configure it, and how to place it where you would like on the site. In order to do that, you'll need to switch from live site mode here at the top right to edit widgets mode. Once you click that, you'll be brought to the place where you can add and remove widgets. There are four buttons that will appear. If your template has a left or right column, you'll get the add widget left and add widget right. You always have add widget above and add widget below. Now that means to add it either above whatever content is going to be on the site or below it. So on the home page, there isn't any particular content, but if you want it just a widget to display above, say, forum posts or your image gallery or something like that, you would add it above. If you wanted it below that, they just add it below. So we'll go ahead and add a widget now. All you have to do is click the button and choose what widget you'd like to add. We have plenty of widgets to choose from, and if there's something you'd like to see that you don't see here, it's most likely, uh, you can most likely add it in the HTML widget. So I'll go ahead and add that now. And you can set if you'd rather have it show just on the home page or all site sections. We'll get into more of that later in another video. So all you do is click Add Widget, and it will appear at the bottom of wherever you add it. So here's the HTML widget that we just added. If you don't want it there, if you'd like to move it somewhere else later, all you have to do is click this top bar and drag it over where you'd like it. So if you'd like it here on the right, if you'd like it on the left, if you'd like it above, if you'd like it below, it's just click, drag, let go, and it is saved. Now, all widgets have the options to either configure them or remove them. Configure means just adding whatever content is relevant to that widget. So for Guild News, it's how many posts you want in that widget. For Ventrilo status, it's your server inf information. And if a widget has the ability to add unique content, like the HTML widget, the site description widget, things along those lines, it will also have an edit button. Not all of them have it, some do. And in order to use that, just edit. For the HTML widget, it brings up a WYSIWYG menu. And it will go live once you update it. You can also configure it, which is where you'll show visibility settings. Um, anything that is required for the widget will be on this widget configuration menu. You can just submit that after. And if you decide that you don't want to have a widget on your site, just click Remove, confirm that you'd like it gone, and it will be removed. That's all there is to it, and I look forward to hearing from you all in the future. If you have any questions, send an email to support at gamerlaunch.com, and we will get it squared away for you. Thank you.